Good afternoon, everybody. From Fan Fortune Matthew here. It's 12:52 p.m. on Sunday, March 21st, 2021. This is going to be a two-in-one video. First up, it's the predictions for NASCAR's race today at Atlanta, the Folds of Honor Quick Trip 500. Denny Hamlin starts on the pole. Of course, Denny Hamlin won at Atlanta Motor Speedway back in 2012. And starting a long time is Martin Truex Jr. He has not won Atlanta, but he's had some pretty good finishes. Joey Logano has not won yet at Atlanta. He's had he's been close many times, but he hopes that today could be that day. Brad Keselowski won two times. He won 2017 and 2019. Chase Elliott, for him, it's his hometown track, and nothing would please me more than to see him win at his hometown track. I would love that. And I bet he would, too. Kyle Busch starts deep in the field. He starts 19th. He's a two-time winner, 2008 and 2013. Kurt Busch has won this track three times. He won it in 2002. He won it in 2009 and in 2010. So, anything goes here at the Atlanta Motor Speedway. But Kevin Harvick is definitely the one to watch for. He won the, his very first race there at the track in 2001. We're going to win it yet again in 2018. And he won, he's the defending champion of the Folds of Honor Quick Trip 500. So maybe Kevin Harvick could get the job done today. I hope he wins it. But more importantly, Kyle Busch has a slow start to the season, but I think this race could be a turning point for him because you know he he's not the one to give up easily. He's gonna he can he's gonna fight for every single lap. And that's what he does. And also it's a great track to go to. 24 degrees of baking at the Atlanta Motor Speedway. It's just a lot of fun. There's nothing better. And now, as some of you know, on March 15th, our act we lost actor Yafet Koto, who died at the age of 81. He was known for his role on Homicide Life on the Street, which earned him four Emmy nominations, but never a win. And he st his first role in the movie was in Four for Texas. He wasn't credited. Then he starred in Thomas Crown Affair. But he also played in the lead character in the movie Bone, Live and Let Die. The Monkey Hustle, Alien, Brubaker. Fighting Back, The Running Man, Warning Sign, Midnight Run, Extreme Justice, 2F by C, and Witless Protection, which was his last film role. He also played on TV series such as The Big Valley, The High Chaparral, Daniel Boone, made two appearances on the show in 1968 and again in 1969, and in 1970 on Gunsmoke, and The Raid on Entebbe, The he was nominated for a Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Miniseries or a Movie, which was a 19, it was 1976. For Love and Honor, he was Platoon Sergeant James China Bell. He, he also appeared on Murder, She Wrote, Perry Mason, The Case of the Scandal, Scoundrel, and Homicide, the movie, a television film. Yafet Koto was one of the... Best actors of our time. He died on March 15, 2021, at the age of 21, age of 81, in the middle of the Philippines. And his acting career, which spanned over four decades, will always be five decades, will always be remembered. And we will miss him very much. And the legacy he left on us for Hollywood. So thank you, Yafet Koto. May you rest in peace. And that's pretty much going to do it for my two-in-one video on Frozen Fan 1401. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you all enjoy the rest of your day.